Erasmus Flying Testbed, fully dedicated to testing new research techno bricks shaping the future of helicopters. Since its first flight in April 2020, technologies already tested have dealt with situation awareness, noise and fuel consumption reduction, and maintenance improvement. For example, the project ERSAS stands for Rotor Strike Alerting System. This will alert the crew of collision risks risk to main and rear rotor. Eagle is an electronic system that will help the crew during low altitude operations and navigation. We have also performed flights to develop a health and usage monitoring system called PUMS, dedicated to light helicopters. H130 is a perfect platform to test these different research techno bricks. It's a mono turbine that allows us to work on single engine specific issues. Its conception makes it uh, versatile and easy to modify and upgrade. Its wide cabin and good payload permit to load new systems, test equipment, and test crew easily. It's an already well-known helicopter with low uh, operating cost and renowned for its quietness. So succeeding in making it even quieter will be the validity, will be the proof of the validity of the technology testing. The engine backup system called EBS is a new hybrid propulsion system. It provides electrical power to the main gearbox and the main rotor in case of engine failure. This will increase the level of safety. Since the electrical power injection will limit the rotor speed drop when the failure occurs. It also provides a safer and softer touchdown at the end of the emergency procedure called auto rotation. And by giving to the pilot 30 seconds to react, EBS allows more time to react and more time to choose the safest landing area around. Yes, we are working on unmanned systems. Eagle is an electronic system that has been already successfully tested in flight. The next step is to link that system with an algorithm developed by Airbus Defense and Space to enable autonomous detection of an area of interest with the validation of the crew. The ultimate goal for next year is to link that system with an innovative fly-by-wire autopilot and an advanced human-machine interface, so touchscreen and head-on display, to enable safe autonomous operations and obstacle avoidance in the frame of a project called Vertex. We worked on all sources of helicopter sounds. The main sources are engine and rotor. In previous Airbus programs, we worked to improve rotor speed management, blade design, and the shrouded fenestra. The Flight Lab, we performed a flight test campaign last winter to record flight lab noise in density areas and to be able to better understand how buildings may affect the perception of the noise for the people in the ground. In the future, an upgraded version of the engine backup system will allow us to reduce the main contributor of the helicopter noise. In fact, thanks to the responsiveness of an electric motor, EBS will allow us to reduce the rotor speed in operations over uh, density areas.